Hi there, so um, what we want to look at is we want to look at how we can create a shared folder here in Google Docs. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to head right over here to where it says Create New. We're going to use this drop-down menu and then we'll find Folder here from the list. So we're going to click right here on Folder and what this is going to do is you'll see it, it gives me a new folder right here. I can give it a name. I'm going to call it My Shared Folder. We can also do something like give it a description if we wanted to or um, give it some color so if we want to be able to differentiate it from our list of different items we could do that um, simply and easily. My shared items are going here. Great. So I'm going to hit save and what will happen now is I'll see that over in my list of shared items right here or I'm in my list excuse me of my folders because right now this one just belongs to me. Now you'll notice that um, some of these have little heads that are next to them or little kind of like heads and shoulders and that means that these folders are shared with someone else. Now right now it looks like my folder is not shared with anyone else and so um, to change that what I would do is I would click right here on where it says share this folder and then I'd go to share settings and from this drop up or pop up menu excuse me you can enter the email addresses um, or names if you have them already in your address book the people that you'd like to share this folder with so I'm actually going to share this with uh, a different email address so we can see what this looks like from the other end so here we go I've added in um, another email address and I can include a message because this will actually show up as an email so what I'll do is I'll just hit send or excuse me share right here and what will happen is this is going to send a message to this person um, to let them know that they can access this folder as well. Now as the owner of this folder you can control if someone can edit the contents, edit the folder, um, can only view the folder, what they can actually do. So what I want people to do is edit because I'd like them, I'd like my um, other personality here to also be able to add items to this folder. So I'm going to hit close and nothing's changed for me here right now but if we take a look at another browser um, we'll be able to log in as a separate person and see what this looks like to somebody else. So let's see what that looks like. So here in another browser what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in as this other email address and then I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Google Docs and what I should see here as I should over here I should see folders shared with me and I can scroll down and I can see my shared folder perfect that's what I want and I can see that there are no items in this folder right now so what I might do is I might um, create a new document and let's call this just test document and what I'll do is I'll come back here to my list of all of my documents and in all items I should see when I refresh the page I should see my test document pop up here. But, so I'm going to open up my shared folders right here. I'm going to grab this test document. I'm going to drag it right into my shared folder. And we should see what would happen. What happens now is we see that this share this talk this document. You can see right here this document is in my shared folder. And if I head back over to this other um, email account, you can see I'm in a different email account here right now. When I refresh the page, I should see that document pop up. And there it is. A nice little message that says, hey, this is new. So now we can both edit this document um, on either end, and the changes will be logged to the appropriate email address.